Hello there! Is your LinkedIn not loading on Safari and you're wondering how to fix it? Well, I've got you covered. You know when you're staring at the blank page on your Safari browser because you just cannot access LinkedIn on your Mac or your iOS device? Either way, it's very annoying, even though Safari seems to work just fine for all other searches. I am going to help you, don't you worry. All you need to do is follow the troubleshooting steps that I will mention in this video. So come, tag along. So the first solution is to check your internet connection. By default, a slow or unstable internet connection is the culprit if websites like LinkedIn won't load on your Safari browser and on other browsers too. You can check if this is the case with you by running a simple speed test to measure your internet bandwidth. If it appears that your internet is prolonged, you can proceed by restarting your router. If that doesn't work out, the second solution is to update your browser. Along with the first mentioned fix, Apple also recommends updating your Safari browser. Like all software applications, it also has its share of bugs, even though developers make sure to remove them with the updates. So you have probably not updated your Safari browser in a while, and now it's finally time to do it. You click on the Apple logo, which is located in the top corner of your screen, and from the menu that appears, click on System Preferences. You then select Software Update and check to see if there are any pending updates for Safari. If there are, click on the Update option. And that's about it for that, but if you're using LinkedIn on your iPhone, you can also check for software updates from your settings. You first go to Settings and then go to General and then go to Software Updates and you will see if it needs some updating. So if none of that works, the third solution is to clear your browsing history and corrupted cache files. So to clean your Safari's browsing history, open the history menu by tapping on the top menu bar in the Safari app and then select clear history. And that's about it for that, but to clear cache data, select the developer menu in the Safari app and then choose empty caches. So guys, we have reached the end. If that doesn't work out, we have another solution. The next solution is to disable extensions. So in order to do this, you need to go on your Safari browser and click the options button, which is in the top right corner, right there, yeah. And then click on settings and from the side menu, choose and click on extensions. You disable all your extensions and then restart your browser after you disable your extensions to see if the problem is still present. If that doesn't work out, we have two more solutions in our article, which I will link down below in the description box. So check those out, that's about it. Well, 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 we have reached the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making it. Oh yeah, also don't forget to subscribe down below. I upload videos every day, so be sure to stay tuned for those if you want, that is. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.